Hi, it's Wednesday, September 11th. Quick final update here on Hurricane Francine. This is the final hours of approach towards Louisiana, moving northeastward, expected to arrive late this afternoon or evening local time. You can see the hurricane here, not a clear eye, and this is not the strongest hurricane we've ever seen in the Gulf, but it is a hurricane with max winds of about 90 miles per hour. Deep thunderstorms are continuing to wrap around the western side of the eye, and that is allowing the inner core to remain intact in the face of what is now strong levels of westerly shear that are beginning to impact the storm. This is the radar picture out of Louisiana showing the eye wall kind of a half moon here. It is eroded on the southeastern side, but as long as this continues to rotate around at least through the western side, the inner core is going to hold together as it translates toward the northeast. And if we look at reconnaissance data, we'll see that the shear has started to have an impact on the intensity. We talked about how overnight last night we would likely see Francine reach its peak, and it did attain max winds of about 90 miles per hour. But you can see that the central pressure, which was in the low 970s earlier in the morning, has now risen several millibars to the upper 970s as of the latest data from the aircraft. This is an indication that the storm is starting to weaken in response to the strong westerly shear. That is good news, but this is going to be a bona fide hurricane as it reaches the coast. There's just simply not enough time for Francine to weaken in a significant way. And so the hurricane warnings are going to bear out here in southeastern Louisiana. So please be prepared for this hurricane to come ashore. The landfall point right now is forecast to be in the vicinity of the, the Morgan City area or the coastline, you know, just southwest of Morgan City. But, you know, keep in mind, of course, that the inner core hurricane strength wind field is not a single point. It is this entire region that is translating towards the northeast. So you can see the whole swath of Louisiana that will receive the strongest winds of Francine. And this will include areas that are inland of the coastline. And you'll see that on the National Hurricane Center forecast here, which shows in red the hurricane warning extending inland. This includes places like Baton Rouge here. So this whole red area at risk of winds greater than 75 miles per hour. A hurricane watch also extends further northeast, closer to New Orleans and Lake Pontchartrain, and tropical storm warnings in blue extend over a much broader swath of southeastern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, and now even Mobile Bay area of southern Alabama, where you could get winds up to 40 miles per hour out of the south as Francine moves to your west. And again, there will be storm surge along the coastline, the biggest threat to those living in coastal areas, 5 to 10 feet from Vermilion Bay eastward to near the Mississippi River Delta, but then lower water level rises as you get east of there. But significant water level rises possible as far east as Mobile Bay and even extreme western Florida as southerly winds push water toward the coastline on the eastern side of Francine. And of course, inland flooding risk from heavy rain also possible here, moderate risk of flash flooding through most of the landfall area and extending into southern Mississippi with elevated risk farther inland than that due to the broad area of heavy rainfall that Francine will carry as the storm moves inland. So as far as Hurricane Francine goes, that's about it for the forecasting that needs to be done here. I mostly paint the big picture for you and we're expecting a hurricane now to come into the coastline as we've been talking about in just a few hours here, and I can't really get into the details in a hyper-local sense of what to expect in a particular town or a particular spot along the coastline. That's the job of your local authorities, your local National Weather Service forecast office, and yourself knowing your vulnerability exactly where you are and what you're you know, prone to in your location. So everyone, please stay safe. Hope you're prepared for Francine as this hurricane rolls through, and we'll hope that the damages are limited. As we look out across the rest of the Atlantic Basin, it is the peak of the hurricane season. September 10th is actually the climatological peak day of activity. We see a couple of disturbances out here which are not really developing. There is a new tropical depression 7 west of the Cabo Verde Islands, which is expected to track out over the open ocean. This is the first NHC forecast for that, showing a tropical storm out over the open water, not a threat to land right now. We'll keep an eye on it. There's also the potential within three to four days this weekend for an upper level trough to interact with this old frontal boundary, this cold front or stationary front that's off the southeastern U.S. 
An upper level trough may dip in and interact with this, generating an area of low pressure that could theoretically get close to the southeastern U.S., but the details on that remain a bit fuzzy. About four or five days out, we'll keep an eye on that. The NHC currently has a yellow area for 20% risk of tropical development out of that area. I'll talk more about that perhaps after Francine has made landfall. That's it for now. Everyone stay safe in the North Gulf Coast. Thanks for watching.